A recent study has found that only two of the capital's 32 boroughs have black, Asian and ethnic minority CEOs. The research by a London-based recruitment company also found that the number of females in top positions has declined by 3% in the last year. The CEO of the company behind these findings, Raj Talisani, is here now. Um, so Raj, would it be safe to say that while there are lots of non-white business owners, it's only on the smaller scale. When it comes to larger companies, we're seeing far less diversity at the top. That's right. I think the uh, trend is quite worrying in that in our larger institutions, whether it be in the public, private or third sector, despite all the rhetoric about wanting to be more inclusive and more diverse, when you look at the hard numbers and leadership, actually we're in many cases going backwards. I mean, it's extraordinary the sort of percentage of black and ethnic minority candidates in top management positions, sort of just 10 percent in, in some ways. And that's quite a long way below where we would like to be, presumably. Well, I think the, uh, the basic principle here is best person for the job. But if we continue to manage talent in ways that was relevant to our organisational context 10 years ago, then we're missing out on a whole uh, genre of leadership talent. So we need to be more expert, particularly facing Brexit and the talent crisis that will bring, around widening the gate of access without lowering the bar of quality. And that is just as applicable at executive level as it is at entry level. Because presumably, if the, f the fewer there are at the top, younger people from minority backgrounds won't see the possibility, won't see the paths they could take to, to get those, those positions themselves. Well, there's certainly, some, there's certainly an element of social capital here around role models, or as I prefer to call them, real models, because they're people who actually do stuff. Um, but there's also a wider issue around talent in general. And if you look at society and how quickly it's fragmenting, unless people feel that they have the same opportunity, which is linked to brands and institutions saying what they in, actually delivering their promises around in, inclusion and access, then it's very difficult. And if people, in addition to that, don't see people who look like they're more empathised with their situation you have two real problems <clears throat> the first problem is you're not able to unleash that talent that's at your disposal and the second problem is that as an institution as you make these extra promises around inclusion and building a service provision that better represents the changing demographic of london if you've got no one who understands that demographic it's really difficult to deliver and that leads to a lack of organizational trust at the um at, we look at the the figures just briefly we said before that um, you know, obviously, we've, we've seen that the sort of low level of black and minority ethnic candidates. Your research also looks at women, their roles. Uh, seems that figures are up, but they've still got somewhere to go against the chief diversity there. Well, I think there's been tremendous um, progress in women. If you look at the civil service, it's done very well and better than the private sector for quite some time, as has the third sector when it comes to leadership. Um, unfortunately, when you look at the uh, private sector, the, the initial um, mo the initial momentum that's created by the 30% club and women on boards and other such campaigners was largely linked to non-executive directors, and many of those um, women ha had a number of board positions. When you look at the next tier down, as we do in the pipeline to leadership, you see that it's a very mixed picture. And we look by function by function in industries, industry, uh, and industries, industries we've done for about 10 years now, you see there must be some form of institutional blockage. Now, our hope is that with the gender pay gap reporting for women having created momentum in organisations being a little bit more um, honest and transparent, we're hoping that the ethnic pay gap that the Prime Minister announced a consultation on yesterday can also create that kind of momentum in a wider community. Rajasthani, thank you very much indeed for your thoughts.